Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Today we're gonna to be doing a good old fashioned bronzer and contour ranking. I've done one of these on my channel before, but it was like one of the very first videos I filmed when I started my channel. The quality just really wasn't any good. So I thought I would redo this video and I've added a ton to my collections. I'm gonna do the ranking from worst to best. I do have 39 bronzers and contours. I think when I did my original ranking video, I only had 28. Let's jump into the ranking. So like I said, I'm gonna start from worst and work my way all the way to my favorite bronzer. So the first one is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzer. I really wanted to love this more than I did and I liked the fact that it came with neutral shades and then warm tones so you had like a variety in their line which is not always something that you get when companies put these out. Sometimes you know you'll get like three or four shades in the line and they're all pretty warm leaning. Don't let anyone tell you that tone doesn't matter when you're talking about bronzer ranking because in their line if they have like a limited range of colors that they offer those colors matter greatly if what they look like on your cheeks just isn't flattering. So I loved the fact that this came in like a neutral tone in one of the light shades. It had a more warm bronzy tone for fair to light skin tones. It's a really nice shade. I think it's really neutral. I did only pick this one up. I didn't try the warm one and I thought maybe I might like to try that but I just didn't like the finish of it. When I got it to my face it was like because it's the luminous putty bronzer it looked greasy on my cheeks. It looked like dirty and greasy. It just didn't sit right. I kept it around for reference, but it's not the most creamy product either, so it's not as easy to apply. It's not super pigmented. By the time I kind of got it to my forehead, it just looked like greasy. The luminosity just wasn't right. I do have some luminous bronzers in here that I think do that luminosity right. I just didn't like this one. I don't think they did a really good job. I am sad to say because it is so inexpensive. And I do like a lot of e.l.f. products, but I just, I can't rank it higher. The next one is the She Glam Glowing Up Skin Stick. This one is in soft tan. I apologize. My shade in the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer is Vacay Mood. This is a contour and not necessarily a bronzer. I think this is a tremendous shade. Super nice. Really, really neutral. And it was hard to rank this one where it is. It's just not an overly creamy formula. So it's a little bit harder. And when they come in sticks like this, one of the things I love to do is just draw them on. So it like has to be a creamy enough product that I can just draw it on and blend it out. This is not a product that you can really do that with. Because it's so stiff, it tugs at your cheeks if you try and draw it on. And so it's one of those that you have to like pick up with a brush and then tap on. And it's not a bad contour. It's a nice shade. Hard to rank it where it is, but because it's a stick and it's harder, it goes lower for me. The formulation matters here and I just wanted something creamier in this kind of product. So the next one is the Bronze Age Bronzing Stick from Winky Lux. This one is in the shade Golden Touch. When we're talking about a stiffer formula, this one's really stiff. This one is actually not like your cream to powder finish, whereas the one in She Glam is. This one has more of a luminous finish, but it's just really, really stiff. It's the, again, the kind that just tugs at your cheeks when you apply it. And so I can put it on with a brush and that doesn't bother me. I've been doing that a lot more lately. It's just a really warm tone. And again, don't let anybody tell you the tone doesn't matter, the tone matters. If it's too orange, Orange, and it's the only shade in their line that will work for you you're SOL, <laughs> like that's just the way it goes. Their line isn't gonna work for you. So the formulation in here comes into play in addition to color, which is this is just a little bit stiffer. I have to work a little bit harder on this. It's orange and so it's not just something I can pick up and wear with anything. It's one of those products that you have to pair it with the right blush to not create a contrast that just doesn't stand out or look dirty. Where you pair something this colored with, for example, a really pink blush might not look so good. I love Winky Lux products. I think they're cute and adorable and just fun and relatively inexpensive. It's just that the formulation and the color on that one combined make that a product that I have to think about reaching for. It's not just like, you know, it's going to travel with me and work with everything I wear. The next one I also wanted to love more than I did. This is the Creme Shop Liquid Cushion Bronzer in the shade Toasty. Their compact cushion blush is like one of my favorite blushes. I have have killed off one of those blushes and I really wanted to love this in the highlighter. The highlighter I ended up decluttering. I love the pigmentation and the simplicity of the use of this product because I can literally just take my sponge and 
just dip it in, bounce it on, and boom, I'm good to go. It's a really emollient formula, very creamy and easy to apply. It's just the shade here for me doesn't work, and this is the lightest shade that they have, and so any other tone in their line isn't gonna work for me. And it's just too like warm leaning, and because it's so pigmented, like that color really sticks out and really matters. And so oftentimes I end up just getting like a really orange cheek. Formula great, color not so good. If they had one that was a little bit more neutral or not as pigmented in their warmth, I would love it even more. The next one that I have, I also wanted to really love and I think is really popular. This is the Super Shock Bronzer from ColourPop. Mine is in the shade Get Sandy. But there is nothing wrong with this color. I legit hate this packaging. For me, like I find it the hardest to pick up. You'd think like a sponge like this, you could just kind of dig into this product, but I never get enough on. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this. Hey, if you guys have tips, like let me know how you apply this if this is something that you really like. It is just like me digging and digging and digging that I'm like, where is it? It just doesn't show up on my face. I love the fact that it's like a matte finish and that it's like a cream to powder formula. That's like one of my favorite formulation in bronzers, but yeah, I just can never get enough pigment on it. I can never get it to pick up. I'm digging more than I'm getting product up. So that's why it is where it is. The next one that I have is a liquid contour. This is from Milani. This is the Conceal and Perfect in the shade Honey. I don't know about this. Like the shade is okay. Like I go back and forth with the shade. I don't think that it's a bad shade necessarily. I think what I like least about this product is that they call itself a contour when it's very much like a bronzy shade for me. I think it has a little bit of neutrality but it also has a little bit of warmth. And when products do that, when they call themselves bronzer and contour, isn't that like contradictory? You contour in the things that you're trying to draw back. You bronze the things you're trying to bring forward. So like one, it would be here, right? You'd apply it in like the hollows of your cheeks and then a bronzer you'd put here so that it looks sun-kissed and flushed. You might even apply a contour under a bronzer. So when it calls itself a liquid contour and it just pulls a little bit too warm, I think that I get like almost big mad. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I have a couple in here that call themselves contour slash bronzer and you'll hear me say that again, which is just call yourself one or the other. This is even in the shade called honey, which to me like indicates that it would be something that is a little bit warm or a little bit orange. So that's why this is where it is formulation wise. I think it's really nice. I even like the smaller puff because, you know, smaller faces. I kind of like that a little bit more than the bigger puff sometimes simply because I I'm definitely using this product to draw onto my cheeks and I like how precise I can get with this. So application formulation, okay. It's mostly tone in this case. Again, tone matters. The next one that I have is from Glossier. It's their solar paint. This one is in the shade Flare. I like this, like I like the formulation. I even like the color. I think it's mostly like this applicator that I don't love. And I don't love it because of its formulation. It's so emollient, like just so emollient. It's creamy. It almost feels like if you turned this product, like the package over it would just spill out. It's that emollient. I don't think it's a bad product from Glossier. I do think though, I hate the application process, like drawing it on just feels like this wet goopy mess when I'm putting it on. It has a little bit of warmth, but I don't mind the shade. I think it's just the application. Really, honestly, that's, that's all it comes down to. I think the process of applying the makeup sometimes is like therapeutic for me. And even though I love like the finished effect and I like the way that I look and the way that it makes me feel, I also like the process of putting it on. So when it's an applicator like this and I just think about like, oh, how it made me feel the last time I wear it, I don't know. I don't get a fuzzy warm feeling about it. And so that's why it ranked where it did. The next one up that I have is from She Glam. This is another contour, but this is a liquid contour. It's called the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour and this is in the shade Soft Tan. I actually kind of like this puff for application purposes. I think it's too gray leaning on this one. I think what I have a tendency to do because it's so gray leaning and I don't mean to beat contours into the ground and say like the tone is too neutral, but like it is. It's so gray without being like a neutral brown that this one actually tends to look a little bit muddy on me. Love the application. I don't like the overall like way that the finish looks on my face. And that's really all it comes down to on that one. The next one that I have is the cream bronzer from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Sandy. This one I actually used to really love. It's a cream to powder formula. So it's kind of one of those that 
like the formulation for me is just easy to apply and I don't know, fun. I kind of like the finish on my cheeks. The color is definitely more warm, but like I loved it through the summer months. I think it just kind of got like moved down as I started to realize like I'm somebody who loves to lay on bronzer super heavy. <laughs> so when it's too warm leaning, I just find myself looking like an absolute clown. And because I really prefer to just dig into that bronzer and just go ham all over the ones that are more neutral colored with a tiny bit of warmth or more of a red undertone i don't have to worry about how heavy i go on my cheeks with it so anyway i really like the finish of this i like the formulation i think the tone is just a little bit warm for my preferences right now the next one that i have is the stay golden cream bronzer from moira beauty this one's very similar to the jacqueline cosmetics in like tone like it's even more warm so this one and the one from jacqueline like i was going back and forth on on the ranking because here's the Moira one it's definitely more warm and this one is even more so like just use it in the summer Carrie don't don't try and don't try and do this not in the summer but I think why I ranked it a little bit higher is because I found it just a more blendable formula it's so much more creamy but it's still a cream to powder formula like it still dries down matte but it's really really emollient and so the formulation is honestly just better than the Jaclyn cosmetics and so while I was saying like this this one's warm and it's it's more red leaning this one's like even more warm and orange leaning and so these two i was like going back and forth on but ultimately it came down to i like this one more because the formulation is just really nice cream to powder but still super super emollient the next one that i have up is the rose ink cream bronzer and mine is in the shade parrot k when i originally ranked this i was so confused about this product because it started to like dry down on the top layer and it almost feels like so lightweight that there's nothing there it is more of a warm leaning bronzer but it's one that's like such a cream to powder formula i i usually don't go too heavy with it that it looks to orange i was originally kind of confused about this product and it had such a strong smell the scent though has like since faded i think i like this product more now than i originally did when i did my first ranking video because i was just like i don't even know how to feel about this product you know what is this lightweightness and is it drying out like i can't tell and i think that i've started to use this in a way that like makes sense to me it's not overly pigmented and so there are days where i just like a light bronzer i guess and this one is really good for that the next one that i have up is a cream bronzer from refi this one is in the shade sand i think i hated this when i first got it i was like man this is so orange it just looks orange in the pan i think i like it more over the rose ink even though it's super 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 orange it's because it's just so emollient this reminds me so much of the moira cream bronzer but i almost feel like this one is even more emollient than the one from moira beauty it's just really easy to blend i don't know this one just feels good even doing a swatch on it really easy to work with even though i can only use this shade like i don't know certain times of the year it's not something that i would just feel comfortable like traveling with me but i do like having it in my collection the next one that i have is the soft sculpt shaping stick from makeup by morio this one is in the shade light i used to like this a lot more than i do now the component has since like broken i can't even roll it up anymore like that's old it goes i tried rolling it up recently and i ended up like snapping the casing like i don't really know i think this was really nice when i first got it like i was totally in love with it i just think that there have been other stick bronzers that have come out recently or other liquid bronzers that have come out recently that are just better than this i think the warmth is like kind of leaning red and so it's a really nice shade i just again like i'm thinking that a component like this is just one that i like to swipe on it's just way too big for that and so it's more one of those products that you kind of have to pick up on a brush and i just don't feel that it's like very emollient some of my other stick ones it's more emollient than the other two stick ones that i went over and so i like it a little bit more but i don't think it's as emollient as some of the other ones that i am going to rank that are stick products and i just i don't know i tend to like those ones a little bit better so i think it's really good i just think there are other ones that beat it the next one that i have i think this was hard for me to kind of place where i did this is the face and body bronzing balm from soul body this one's in the shade fair there's just something about this consistency 
the smell, the vacation, the vibe when I open this. Yeah, it is about vibe, I don't care. It's so creamy, yet you can feel that it's like just the top layer is creamy. It gives me like vacation vibes. It's so easy to blend in. It's pretty inexpensive. It's more warm leaning, so again, it's something that I use more in the summertime. But the formula on this is just bomb. And the smell is delightful, so yeah. The next one that I have is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer from Say. This one is in the shade Light Bronze. I think it's good. I don't think it's all the rage that like everyone has said it is. I think it's very similar, very, very similar to the Soul Body because it's like just it's creamy but like only on the top layer and so i don't know like something about that if this one wasn't so warm leaning i would honestly say that the soul body and the say are like dupes or this is a dupe for this one because they're just so similar in consistency and in formulation and the way that they apply that I could do without having both in my collection if I just had one. Unfortunately, I think the one from Say is just a little bit more neutral than this one. So I like having them both in my collection. The next one that I have, I feel like I ranked super high in my last ranking video. I can't remember, but it's definitely moved down for me. This is another one from Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light. I don't think this was ever intended to be like a cream bronzer from his line. I don't think. And I ranked it super high because it was just so natural and I could go so ham with this. Like this was just one that, like this is something that I could easily travel with and never worry that I'm like applying too much and I'm gonna come out looking like an orange clown. And I think that I like it still. It has a little bit of radiance. It's really, really natural. It's like one of the two most natural cream bronzers in my collection. So I like it for that reason, but I just don't love it as much as like some of the other ones that I've been trying after it so it's still good it's just really really natural so if you guys are looking for something super super natural and not very pigmented that is definitely a good one the next one that I have is another natural one probably my second most natural cream bronzer this is the bronze balm from Merit this one is in the shade clay this one is a little bit more radiant than the one from makeup by Mario I like that it's in a stick I like that it's balmy so it's super easy to apply this is one that I feel very very comfortable drawing on one of the few that I feel that comfortable drawing on and then blending in when I'm fully done it has a little bit of warmth but it's like a non-sticky really emollient radiant bronzing balm it's just kind of unique in my collection for all of those reasons but it is very natural looking on the skin it's not one that I feel like I'm gonna go extra heavy in with and come out looking funny so I like having it in my collection but yeah it's just definitely a more natural bronzer the next two are trios but I had to include them in here because they are like stackable cream products the first one that I have is the stack the odd trio from Ali Oop this one is in the color story sassy pants here is the bronzer this one ties the next one like for emollients and like neutrality but with like a little bit of warmth that feels like a cream to powder formula and super easy like there is nothing nothing wrong with this all of those things that i just said are super good i think this is a tremendous product of course like nobody talks about this this was a boxy charm item the reason that i don't grab this as much as like i could is because i dislike the blush color and i'm not a huge huge fan of cream highlighters and this one is just like this highlighter is just a little bit natural so honestly the only one out of this product that i really do like is the bronzer i think it's just really good though the next one that i have is one of the kaja trios this is the play bento blush and bronzer in the shade 01 buttercup i think this bronzer is super similar to the one from ali oop i think it's probably just like a little bit more emollient but i think like shade wise it's pretty similar here's the one from kaja they're not super different again this is kind of one of those stacks that i just don't reach for or think to reach for that often because it's not a blush shade that i like like it's just really pinky i wish they would come out with these stacks that like gave you an orange blush and they might have by now but when i picked this up they didn't but like something that's just less pink more neutral more orangey for me something more mauve even and i'm really confused about why they would stick like two powder products with one cream product that always was like why why do that <laughs> when you're storing these you like where do i put this like my cream bronzers or do i put this in my blushes like who knows i think the formulation is really good i i would consider traveling with something like this if i liked the blush shade a little bit more i do think this one is a little bit more radiant from kaja than the one from ali oop but i think it's an overall really good bronzer though i love 
all of the ones coming up. All of them, love them, love them, love them all, love them for different reasons. So the next one that I have is the Hollywood Contour One from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Fair to Medium. I, I, I'm coming to like this a little bit less and less simply because I think it's just really dark for Fair to Medium and I wish that it was just a little bit lighter. Um, I think it's a good contour shade, but I think that I have to be careful with this product because I think it has a tendency to look a little bit muddy on me because it is so dark of a contour shade. And it's just like really super pigmented. And I have one other one that's like a really dark contour shade, but it's just not as pigmented. It's not a liquid formula, it's a cream formula. And so like, it just works a little bit better. It's an easier application that it doesn't like cause me to look muddy as often. So while I think this is good, I just didn't love this the way that everyone felt like it was revolutionary, it changed their game, it was unbeatable, there was nothing on the market like it. I still think that that's relatively true. I think a lot of companies are trying to like come out with their version of it and they're not duping it exactly, but there is one coming up that does come relatively close in terms of shade matching for contour, but you will see it's not meant for the lightest of skin tones. So I don't think this is meant for the lightest of skin tones and that's why I sometimes get like a muddy application. The next one that I have is the Tower 28 Bronzino in West Coast. I used to hate this. Like I hated how like metallic it looked. And then, I don't know, using it more, your preferences change. It's definitely metallic. It definitely has warmth in it. It's definitely what I would call a bronzer. I used to not like like how sticky it was and then it didn't dry down, but actually there are a ton more like stickier formulas in my collection. I think this one actually does dry down. And I think that like that shimmer is actually quite beautiful. And I love this for the summer. So I like this a lot more than I used to. Yeah, just that sun kissed like mm, shimmery niceness i really do enjoy it now the next one that i have up and you guys might disagree where i've placed this because it is behind the charlotte tilbury contour wand but this is the flower beauty low light liquid contour this is what i'm talking about when Flower beauty came out with their deep shade it's just so much more similar to the charlotte tilbury but like why right this is deep this is meant for a really deeper skin tone, but then Charlotte's is made for fair to medium. That's a big jump. Fair to medium? I think it works, but like I said, I think you get sometimes a muddy look. So the one in deep from Flower Beauty is really similar to Charlotte Tilbury, but I like the light shade. Here it is, really neutral, same application. The only thing with this though is it dries down super fast, so you gotta be really quick. I just think it's a really good shade for fair people. The next one that I have is a sculpt stick from Milk Makeup. This is a very new release. This one is in the shade Toasted. I think Milk Makeup did a tremendous job when coming out with a shade range for a sculpt stick, for something that is a true contour. It's very neutral, but it's not too gray leaning. I do actually like to pick this up on a brush and kind of apply it because I can go a little bit quicker than like drawing it because I do think it like, because it's a cream to powder finish, like it does dry down a little bit quickly. And so I kind of do one and then blend one and then blend. And so it's just easier for me to kind of hold it, take it on a brush and pat it all over. And I actually don't find that annoying. Like the inconvenience of that like doesn't bother me, even though this is meant to be something that draws on because it's just so perfectly toned. I don't go too heavy. I like the fact that they did a good job with the, the shade range. Like that makes such a big difference for me. It's such a big deal. Really, really nice and not dissimilar to the next product. This is the matte bronzer in the shade Baked from Milk Makeup. This is an older product, an older launch, but I always liked this as well. I always love like a cream to powder finish. It's same thing, super easy to, to apply. I like these little small ones. These aren't considered minis now, but like back in the day this was, but by the time I purchased the bronzer, it was already like, this is the only size that they made. The next one that I have is the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. I wanted to hate this because this only comes in one shade. It only comes in bronze. And I originally like really disliked how big this opening was, but the product doesn't fall out. It just feels like it's going to. This is just such a beautiful, like skin-like radiant finish bronzer. It's super easy to apply. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I do take like a brush and tap it in and just whew, and it's like beautiful and radiant. It has a little bit of warmth. Like I said, I really wanted to dislike this simply because it only comes in one shade and that's just not very inclusive. It is a beautiful finish. It is an easy formula and I do like the shade. 
The next one that I have is also a new release. This is the Tarte Sculpt Tape in Soft Bronze. I like this more than the Charlotte, but I don't think that it should call itself necessarily a contour. It's fine if it's like a liquid bronzer. It's literally called Soft Bronze is the shade. It's just a more like reddish undertone. I love reddish undertones when they're done correctly and they're this kind of deep on me. I just think that it looks really beautiful and natural and actually looks sun-kissed as opposed to like an orange stripe that I painted on my face. This is super emollient, super easy to apply. It's one of those products that I'm talking about where apply it all over, blend it all out. I don't need to do one side at a time. So I have really, really been enjoying this. The next one is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Power Boost Bronzer Stick from Rare Beauty. I think this is the most creamy, maybe second most creamy bronzer stick that I have in my collection. It's more about the tone for me that doesn't push it higher. I am so excited, you guys. She is coming out with new three new shades in this pretty soon. I don't know exactly the dates that they're going to release, but I think they're going to be much more neutral toned. The same great formula. This is such a creamy, beautiful, looks gorgeous on the skin bronzer. It's just that this shade in the lightest is a little bit warm. And so I always noticed that like it always looked warm on my cheeks. And so I didn't always grab for it. But yeah, I'm going to pick up one of those, even though I don't need it because it's more neutral leaning in a balm formula. All right, the next one that I have is the So Soft Bronzer Stick from M Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Summer. This is so similar to the Rare Beauty one and how like super emollient it is. It is the slightest bit more neutral on the cheeks than the Rare Beauty one. And so that's kind of why I like it a little bit better than the Rare Beauty one, I think, or that it just ranked higher. I don't know, their formulas are so darn similar. It's just that this is just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more neutral. We are getting into the loves territory here. Every one of these I love. So if you wanna judge me, you can totally go ahead and judge me now because these ones ones were intentionally put here in this like top section because I just I love them they're super simple they're they're good tones they're good tones for different reasons and these ones are all ones that I feel like I would miss in my collection if I didn't have them the first one that I have is the shape and define contour stick from Catrice very similar to the next one but this is like I don't know such a neutral shade it does have a highlighter stick on the other end that I just don't use but this is like a super neutral tone. It's super creamy. And I like these little applicators when they're like this. Yeah, and I can draw it on all over and then blend out. So these are super convenient and super convenient for travel. I think they're just better than like having liquid. And if you were even in a pinch, you could like draw this on and blend this out with your fingers. I just like love these kind of products. The next one that I have, very, very similar, is the Dual Ended Face Shaping Stick. It's the Wonder Stick from NYX. This also has like a highlight on one end that I don't use, I don't care for, but this again is just super neutral. I think I like this one a little bit more because it's a little bit more creamy. It does have a little bit more warmth to it though, but I don't dislike that. It's just a tiny bit more creamy than the Catrice. The Catrice is more like a shaping stick. This almost looks more like a bronzer. I don't know. These are kind of tied. I think I just like the little bit of extra creaminess with the next one just a little bit better. The next one that I have is also a fairly new release. This is from Tower 28. This is their Sculptino in Broad. This is marketed as like a contour and a bronzer, which I get mad at every time I talk about it on my channel because it's not, it's not, it's not both. It's just a bronzer. It's just a light bronzer with some warmth in it. There it is right there. I just find that like, this is what I was talking about when the, I say that the company is marketed as like a dual product, but like, how could you be when you're this tone? I traveled with this though, just a super easy and quick, like simple application. And so it's just one of those things that like, it's compact. It's easy to travel with. It's nice and uncomplicated. It's a good tone, not too neutral, even though it is just a bronzer. It's a cream to powder finish. It's my cup of tea. Love that one. One I actually like a little bit more. And so if you're interested in like a drugstore equivalent of the Tower 28, I've got one for you. This one is the Flawless IRL bronzer in the shade Shady. This is from Oma Beauty by Sharon C. So this is her more affordable line. Same thing, cream to powder finish, pretty emollient formula, compact, easy to travel with, uncomplicated, but they're so similar though. They are. And this one's 10 bucks. 
that's a dupe for that one. I love them both. I think I like the Oma Beauty one just a little bit better because I like the shade a little bit more on me. The next one that I have is a contour and a bronzer cream. It's the Huda Beauty Tantor. It's one of the few in like a darker shade for contours that I actually like, like, but not as dark as the Charlotte. It's a cream to powder formula. It's just maybe the only one I could see you saying a bronzer and a contour. Only one, only one. Deep enough, neutral enough, warm enough, I don't know. This one is the only one that I buy could be a hybrid product. I think that the formula is super duper creamy. It's that cream to powder. I love this one from Huda, super easy to blend in. The next one up that I have is from Tarte. This is one of their cream bronzers from the Breezy collection. This is one of the few things that like got me back into liking Tarte products. It's really emollient, it's super easy to apply. This one does have a little bit of warmth though, but I do like, like it because it's not like overly warm. It's the red leaning warm that I like without being too orange. It's a cream to powder finish. It's just one of the products that got me back into like trying Tarte products because it just was such a good formulation. This one is really good. I feel like I would notice if it was gone from my collection. The next one that I have is from Lower East Side. This one surprised me. This is in the shade Sky skyscraper i got this in boxycharm but like it's bomb it's it's bomb it's not as emollient as some of my other bronzers but i just felt like the way that it applied and it's cream to powder finish a fairly neutral shade it's a cream to powder formula i don't know something about it it's just super easy to apply i guess i really like them kind of when they're in these compacts and i can just take my sponge dig it in and apply it all over and it literally takes me two and a half seconds to apply this so yeah boxy charm item kind of an unknown brand to me i did look them up they have a couple of i think cream products in their line i just really like the way this applies i like the formula i do like the shade just like it. Another one that I'm fantastically in love with right now, this is another trio. This is from Ulta Beauty. This is their Cheek Squad, but this one I can get down with. This one has a cream blush, a cream highlighter, and a cream bronzer, so I know that it goes in my cream drawer. I don't absolutely love the shade. Again, this only comes in like two shades. This one is in Pop of Petal. Shades, color stories, whatever you call them. I love the highlighter. Don't love the blush, but I like it more than the one in the Kaja stash but this freaking bronzer is amazing. It's like this super neutral, creamy, camel colored, I just love it. This was like one of my favorite drugstore tries that I've had recently. It has like a slight bit of radiance to it. It's super easy to apply. This is so good. If you guys are like interested in trying new cream bronzers, I would say grab this one from Ulta. It's not that expensive and I really don't hear like anybody talking about it, but it's so, so good. Okay, we are down to our top three. I think I like all of these like for this same exact reason. And these are all hard. Like I like having all of these in my collection, but they are where they are. So the first one that I have is the beautiful glow sun-kissed glow bronzer. This is in the shade fair. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. I think the packaging is like huge and horrendous and like hard to store, but I love it. Like I love her version of a cream bronzer because it's like just this cream to powder formula. It's in a really neutral shade. It's so easy to apply, you guys. You could do this with a brush. You could do this with a sponge. You could do this with your fingers. Like it's super easy to apply. I like that it's just not that emollient and it's like easily just the cream to powder finish feels like a cream to powder formula almost like a putty i don't know it's just so good it looks so natural and beautiful on the cheeks the next one that i have is the Le beige healthy grow bronzing cream in 390 soleil tan bronze from chanel this one is definitely fragranced but it's again like maybe a harder pressed formula this one has warmth to it i just like this one again for the ease that it applies i like this for the summertime i like the scent i love how like airbrushed it looks on the cheeks it's kind of one of those because of the formulation i can go in really heavy with it and i just don't overdo it it does have a little bit of warmth though so that's why these two are really kind of different honestly um yeah but it's like summer in a little container is what it feels like for me okay we are down to the number one bronzer this one has grown on me definitely i i don't think i would have ranked this where it is like five months ago, six months ago, but this is the Laguna Bronzing Cream from NARS. This one is in the shade Laguna 01. This one just beats the other two, but only very slightly. It's again kind of that like 
cream to powder super easy can go super heavy handed super easy to apply i think what makes this a little bit higher than the other two is it's just a little bit more emollient like tiny tiny bit more emollient even though it's still a cream to powder formula and it is super neutral it is the bronzer i am wearing today it's just the one that looks probably the best on my cheeks out of my top three and yeah i mean this is so good i'm so glad that when nars decided to launch their cream bronzer to get on that train that they did it in laguna 01 because i don't remember the laguna shades being like this neutral in their powder bronzer i don't know this is so bomb you guys so easy to apply just emollient enough still a matte finish still a good neutral tone Mwah. 10 out of 10 for me on that i am super enjoying that these days it's just one of the ones that i feel like looks kind of the most natural on my cheeks and just kind of like does something so anyway that is all of my ranking i hope you guys enjoyed i'd love to hear in the comments about any of your preferences if you've tried any of these if you thought about trying any of the bronzers or contours that i went over today i would love to hear from you guys i am sure this is a long video so i will say goodbye now i will depart and i hope to catch you all in my next video bye guys